Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Gabby and today we're going to be experimenting with our words when it deals with blends and diagraphs. Now I know it's been a long summer, but let's just take a little look on what a blend is versus a diagraph. A blend is when two consonants whose sounds blend together to form one sound. Normally it happens quickly, so you don't even notice that you're making one sound out of the two letters. Almost as if they blend together, hence the word blend. Normally you could find blends at the beginning or ending of a word, kind of like with diagraphs, but they're a little different. Now the special thing about diagraphs is that when those two letters are combined, they make up one sound. For instance, in ch and sh. Those two letters, when you hear them, you don't necessarily hear the s or the h. Now that we have that little mind refresher, what we're going to do today is pretty much make a word train out of these little dominoes that I have placed here. Now don't worry boys and girls, I know all of these dominoes here might be a little overwhelming, but we're gonna work through this together. I'm gonna start off the train, and I'm just gonna make an example of what it is that we're trying to attempt here. So we have ump and then kl. Now out of everything here, let's just take a moment and look and see what words we might be able to form. Just looking at some of these dominoes here, there is one specifically that catches my eye. For instance, this one. See, when we put the CL and the AY together, cl we make clay. Now don't worry, if you found a domino here that I did not use to make a word with CL, that's totally fine as well. You could have done clip, you could have done clump, you could have done quite a combination of words here. Just make sure when you combine the word with the beginning blend that it makes sense. So you wouldn't see something like clil. I don't think I ever heard of that before. And again, don't worry, if you got it wrong, that's okay too. That's why we're practicing here. Just refreshing our mind as we ease up into the fall. Now that we formed our word clay, now let's look at this next blend. By looking at the domino set here, I am just going to pick a couple here. Now, by looking at these three here, do you think any of these can make up a word? Now what we have here, if we did this, it's gonna be trin or treat or train. Now so far, two of those sounded like a word to me. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Trin doesn't really sound like a word. And leave these two, treat and train. Looking at these two possible word sets, which one do you guys think's right? By just examining the top one, treat, it sounds like candy, doesn't it? But it looks a little weird on the spelling. However, I think I see what the problem is. T-R-E-E-T -E -E is not treat. Treat is T-R-E-A-T. -E so that one's not a word. And then we're left with train. Okay guys, I think so far we're doing great on our blends. Now let's look at something that deals with a diagraph. So by looking at the dr, let's look at the domino set that we have here that we could form a word. Feel free to pause the video, I want you to challenge yourselves. So right now we have dr, dr. So I want you to form a word, but where the domino leads to a diagraph. If you get stuck, that's okay. We're gonna be doing this together. And don't worry, there's more diagraphs down the line that we'll be working with. Domino here that catches my eye that goes with the DR is going to be drip. And there we go, we also end with a diagraph so that way we could form a word with that as well. Again, like I mentioned previously, it is okay if you formed a different word than what I found. You could have also done drill. All right, now putting that back, we are looking at the diagraph. Shh. And by looking at this word set, is there anything that comes to mind that will form a word with ch? Word that I'm gonna pick out of this domino set that will make a word with sh is going to be ship. Now a little challenge check. Was there any other diagraphs besides sh that could have been made a word with the ending ip ip? Looking at the leftover dominoes, I see a lot of blends and only two diagraphs that we have left. It looks like we have a ch, and then one more sh. But we already made ship, so do you think something with ch would make a word? And now by looking at the domino with the ch, 
we have chip. Chip. Sounds like chocolate chip ice cream to me. All right, boys and girls, we're doing great so far. So by looking at our train here, we have and then ump at the very beginning. Now let's work a little backwards. Is there anything that we could form to make a word that ends with ump? There are a lot of variations of blends and diagraphs that we could use in this word set to make something that ends in ump. By just looking at the word set here, something that comes to mind is the word slump. Now again, you could have done any kind of word set that would have made a word in this case. So for instance, you could have done chump or you could have done plump. If some of these words that I made did not look familiar to you, that's okay. Just to do a little bit of a review, see if you got it right, or maybe this is a new word you're learning today. Slump is when you're kind of slumping in your chair, you're laying back, maybe being lazy or just hanging out. And the next word that we formed here is plump. Plump means a sort of roundness, so almost if you see um, a berry at the store, your favorite kind of berry, like a blueberry, it's nice and rounded and plump. Okay, and the last word we have here is chump. Chump is just a way to describe a person. It can mean that they're foolish or they're funny. All right, now we're gonna move on with our train here. Let's start with another blend. Give yourself some time. A word that I see here that could start with is going to be slot. Guys, we're gonna move a little backwards here. So we're gonna look at the ending, eyed. Is there anything that you see here that might form a word? We're running a little low on different domino sets here, but one that particular pertains to eyed is going to be br eyed, bride. I'm running a little out of room for my train here. So let's finish up with our last one here. So our last blend we have is pl, pl. And then here are all of our endings. Is there anything that comes to mind when it comes to pl? There's a lot of different domino set here that we could use with pl, but the one that I'm gonna end our train with today is going to be place. All right, don't worry boys and girls, we still have a lot of dominoes left here that we could continue making our train, but how about you guys try it at home? So what you could do is grab just a plain piece of paper and kind of mimic what I have done here with the domino sets. Feel free to get creative, make your own dominoes, color it in however way you like, and then if you find a word, feel free to get a highlighter or something and just highlight it. That way, when you're looking at your wonderful train of words, you can indicate where you have made it. When you're done with that domino set, let's just say you end with a domino that doesn't make a word either at the beginning or end of the train, that's okay too. Again, be creative, make up your own domino with a different blend and a different diagraph to help you complete the train. Guys, and if you decide to do this at home, something I suggest is just getting two pieces of paper if you run out of room like I did, and just tape them together and continue on your train. Think of it as good practice. You could continue the train on for as long as you want, and then as you get more advanced in spelling, you could add more complicated words to your set. A nice way to think about it is that this train is your word journey. So for instance, when you start out on the train, you see all these words that we worked here together today. And then as you explore down the train, there's the own words that you made, and then maybe more complex words that you couldn't make before. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me here today as we played with blends and diagraphs to make our little word train. Hope you have a nice day. Bye.